people with intellectual disabilities are still discriminated against, isolated, and neglected. That's why we need to remind our government and lawmakers that everyone matters when it comes to education, health, and employment. And no one gets that message across better than our Special Olympics athletes and best buddies ambassadors. They talk about their lives, their hopes, their achievements, their stumbles, and they do it with authenticity. The impressions they make, the attitudes they change, can last a very long time. So we have to be prepared by studying and also attending training sessions to make sure everyone knows what to do. Everybody rehearses their speeches, prepares what they'll hand out, and has everything ready. They're even ready for questions. You need to be prepared to do your own thing for your own goals and your life skills and your jobs. Katie, you've been here before, haven't you? Twice. Up until, like, yesterday, I've been practicing. I think that the senator and representatives share the problems, which are health, health, and employment and education. Share solutions and ask support of each day. Excellent. That when you talk to the Congress to make sure that, to give your word to make sure that they understand how we feel about not having a job and not having proper, proper health care or not having the proper education that we need. How hard should we push the, the representatives? Well, not too, too hard, but... <laughs> Try not to be over-aggressively, but just have a positive approach. I do agree. We do have the parts, but not too much. We are not going to go, no. Right. You want them to understand you. Right. So be, just be clear on your message. Yes. Then I definitely agree on. I want them to know that it's more than just the competitions and more friendships being made. I want them to realize how important Special Olympics, how important Special Olympics is to everyone. I was talking about my, the story of my life and what I've been doing and um, talking about Special Olympics and how it's helped me. There's a big misunderstanding about what Special Olympics is and that they think we are a one-time track meet or a one-time sporting event. And our message is really bigger than that. Yes, we are sports, but we're so much more. We impact the lives of our athletes fully instead of just giving them a chance to compete, but we give them a chance to be healthy and a chance to learn how to be a leader or to find their voice. I can stand up for what I believe in. I can, um, there's so many, beliefs I, I have. And I want people to see that, that that's what I'm projecting from these lawmakers that they can really see who I really am. Special Olympics and Best Buddies fill in the gaps. We help do what government isn't able to do for people with intellectual disabilities. Yes, we're about sports, but much more. Friendship, developing skills, judgment, independence, teaching others and contributing to society, being healthy, setting life goals and achieving them. In short, making lives better. Everybody got a candle? Yeah. Are you ready to do a vigil? This year's Capitol Hill Day included a vigil dedicated to keeping the light shining on the unmet needs of people with intellectual disabilities. We stand here in the tradition of great people in this country who have fought for a country where people are judged by who they are. And we stand here now among people who are every bit as great as they were. The athletes, buddies, and leaders and volunteers of these two great movements. So look at your candle and make your own wish. What's something you can do this year, this week, this month, that would make your wish come true? On Capitol Hill Day, we have fun, but we work hard and we feel like we've done a lot of work by the time the sun sets. This year, we had more than 300 appointments with elected officials or their staff. We made our case about 
our success, our needs, and our expectations for support from our elected officials. This partnership that's existed for many years between government, Special Olympics, Best Buddies, volunteers, and companies must continue. Our government must do its share so that we can create successes going forward and reach ever more people with intellectual disability.